Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And often I'm asked, what do you have in your bar, in your personal bar? Which bottles do you keep in your bar? And today I open my bar. Uh, there are, I'm afraid, two bottles. They are not here on my cask. <laughs> One is only filled this little, and the other one is far too expensive to move the bottle around. Uh, well, it's the Black Bomo here. Um, the others I moved here on my cask, and uh, the newest addition to my whiskies is the Talisker, 18 years old. I tasted last week. Um, and which is very close to one of the best whiskies I ever had. Well balanced, intense, mature, complex, whatever you like. A little bit smoky, everything is in this bottle. And this belongs to the very few bottles I like most. Um, the second one is the Macallan Ruby. Uh, I put links to those videos here, uh, one after each other, and put the pictures of the bottles in the screen, uh, in the frame. Uh, and uh, I tasted most of them. Um, the Macallan Ruby is the top whiskey of the new range of Macallan, which carries no age statement on the label, but is named after the color of the whiskey and uh, it's a wonderful ruby color and Macallan is not artificially coloring its whiskies. No, they are nat naturally colored and these are first fill port and sherry cask, I think. Um, have a look at the video I made. Um, and this is called the Rolls Royce under the whiskies and I'm afraid it's close to empty. Everybody wants to have a, a dram of this, and if you see that this bottle is nearly empty, uh, no, I'm not drinking that. <laughs> I have lots of friends, and all come and say, Woo, let's have a look at your bar. What do you have to offer today? Which is the dram of the day, and so on. And so they all have an eye on my bar, and uh, most of the whiskey I'm giving away. It's better for my health. So I have so many whiskies uh, to taste here on my cask every year. It's two and a half liters I have to taste here uh, every year for you, for you as visitors, as watchers of my videos, that I'm not able to have another drink every night. No, it would be too much. So drink with moderation or in moderation. Keep an eye of your yearly intake of alcohol. So I do. And so most of the whiskey gone out of these bottles <laughs> were swallowed by friends. So, and because this bottle is close to empty, I have a substitute for it. And it's the 18-year-old sherry cask matured Macallan, vintage 1996. And this is the Rolls-Royce under the whiskies as the other is, but this one is, <laughs> uh, this is 160, 70 euros, this is 250 euros, so it's really expensive, expensive stuff. And I have to, to watch carefully, and <laughs> this <laughs> level will stay <laughs> and is not uh, salvaged. Uh, then there is the Glen Rothes, 25 years old, and uh, in the beginning, I thought this one is not the best one. This is a typical 25-year-old, but uh, as long as I smelled on this whiskey from time to time, it, was, it became more and more interesting. It's a strong, a heavy, a full-bodied whiskey. Uh, lots of sherry cask influence in it. And uh, with 25 years, quite mature intense, mature, and full. Uh, so it took quite a time to get accustomed to this one. 
Then there is the, as well, 25 years old Rakandu. Uh, I think this one I still have to taste. Um, so Nokandu, everybody says, ooh, cheap whiskey, huge volume, bah, avoid this whiskey. No. Um, the 15 and 18 years old uh, of Nokandu are affordable and they are still there because they produce so many whiskies. So many whiskey. So much whiskey, bulk whiskey, <laughs> which they bottle in so many bottles. Um, and they were able to produce over the recession, the big British recession, uh, starting in the late 70s, 79, when Margaret Thatcher, the Iron Lady, uh, came to power, who said uh, the word of the sick man, Britain, the, the sick man of Europe. So they ruled with an iron hand and lots of people lost their jobs and recession was hard and there were fights on the streets and strikes in the coal mines and then the coal mines after the longest strike ever in history of mankind was lost. The coal mines were, were closed. All men lost their work. It was a huge recession. There were fire on the street and fights in the streets. And Okandu was able to produce huge amount of whiskey. They had a, uh, well, an export business. And so there are 25 year old whiskies still in their warehouse. They're still able to sell. This is what makes this whiskey that important. And it's huge. It's first fill sherry and heavy. And I th I'm afraid if you're, I never tried, but uh, if you try too much of this one, you will get a headache, a strong headache. There's a lot of oily, oiliness and strength and aromas in this whiskey. Huge, heavy. So some whiskies are becoming sweeter and weaker and smoother, and this one is becoming stronger and heavier. <laughs> uh, a well-chosen selection of casks in this Royal Naga, select reserve or selected reserve, uh, limited amount of casks. They fill uh, for the celebration of the given the Royal Varand of Queen Victoria. So they, uh, this distillery reside, re resides close to Balmoral Castle in Scotland and uh, Queen Victoria uh, rode by horse to this distillery to have their after tea dram. And because the whiskey was so good, she gave the Royal Verand to the distillery to promote the distillery as the supplier of the Royal, royal family. Um, it carries no age statements, so are younger ones in and very old ones in. And there are only 6,540 bottles out of the, those casks. And it is far too drinkable. It's, it's quite expensive, yes, uh, but it's dangerously drinkable. Very good. <clears throat> the only Irish whiskey in my bar is the Respressed, 21 years old, quite old. And this one is a single pot still whiskey. And this one shows a lot of these typical uh, Jameson uh, oakiness. Those fresh oak, oak casks they use in the New Middleton distillery in Cork, uh, you find those uh, mature uh, oak matureness in this whiskey. Very intense, very strong, I think 46% ABV, unchill filtered, heavy aroma. Very good. Uh, this was left over by a tasting from the distributor. Um, so most of this bottle <laughs> was gone in the tasting with all the participants and the rest. I said, well, <laughs> I did not proceed participate in this tasting, but I want to have this bottle. <laughs> well, here is the bottle for you, uh, but you have to take it with you. I will. Um, 
This bottle is carries no age statement as well and contains young whiskey. I made a I took a video about uh, how to uh, get a get an intense full aromatic whiskey and this one is one of the examples from this video and when I took this video uh, I said well this bottle is also mine because it was used in a tasting as well uh, and I said the rest is for me because I find this whiskey so wonderful even when it's young. So this is uh, Burgundy or Bordeaux cask, Burgundy wine finished. Wonderful young whiskey. Uh, the next one is the Glendronach Grandeur. This is a really expensive whiskey and the bottle already shows this expensiveness. Um, and uh, it's 24 years old, it's 48.9% ABV and the normal Glendronach 21 years old Parliament with 46% ABV, I think, or 48, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Um, it reaches 95% of the quality of this whiskey. So there's no need to pay three, four times as much for this bottle than for the Parliament 21 years old. <laughs> but because most of the whiskies I taste here on my cast go to my friends. Uh, This one was too expensive for my friends. And then I said, well, I keep it. And you see, very few is used so far. Uh, it will take quite a time. I'm not afraid that this bottle will turn bad because 24 years in an oak cask, uh, which breathes over the season. So in winter, uh, the liquid compresses, tears in the fresh oxygen, then uh, oxidization takes place and in summer it breathes again and puts all the water, uh, the air out again and 24 times it moves the air around so oxidization is close to 100% in this whiskey and I'm not afraid to store this whiskey for another 10 years in this bottle. And the, the queen of the show is the 40 year old Glenfiddich from a sherry cask or from two sherry casks and this is a wonderful bottle you would never think about Glenfiddich if you taste this whiskey it's so aromatic so full so intense and so old that I said well this whiskey stays at my home there's still a lot of liquid in this bottle uh, just a few drams was poured and I'm also sure this whiskey will stay for quite a long time uh, in my bar uh, and this whiskey is expensive. $2,000. You will have to pay for such a bottle. I won't tell you where I reside. No, no, where I live. Uh, this is it for today or for this year. Perhaps when the content of my bar switches over, bottles go, bottles come, uh, from time to time I will show you what will be in my bar then. Until then, thank you for watching. There's more to come, stay tuned. And if you want to show friends which whiskies they should buy, this is a very good selection. So share this video with your friends. Thank you.